Hello and welcome back to Live Laugh Stuck. I am Jackie, aka Jax. I sounded really like a radio DJ there. Not like really, <laughs> really, but I was definitely edging into it. Uh, speaking of edging, what? <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, we can't take we can't take the intro again and have that be what happens. <laughs> No, no, no. Finish the thought. Speaking of edging, what? No. No, no. You started this sentence. It's your job to end it. Um. I don't know. I just started it. It just sounded funny, and then my brain didn't finish it. Oh my god. <laughs> edging this fucking podcast <laughs> wait hold on hold on hold on I got it I got it okay can I do it yeah, yeah. speaking of edging here's a non sequitur the first one today is <laughs> <laughs> fuck my life uh, honestly that may as well be how we start this at this point <laughs> Yeah, um, it's been over 15 minutes since we've started recording. Um, Has uh, it really? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's been 16 minutes and 13 seconds. What's wrong yeah, with according us? According to OBS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me count the ways. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's more shipping. Let's get into shipping. It's more, it's more shipping. Yes. It's shipping time. Is uh is David David Terezi is socially unacceptable art? D. Yeah. Y yeah. Yeah. That's I'm, not a ship name. It's not a ship name. Also, the art that they make together isn't even like that socially unacceptable most of the time. Right. Dave, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> The the art that depending on society, I feel like the art that Dirk and Caliborn make is more socially unacceptable. It's true. Like 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 to Cherub society. I mean, <laughs> at least that one has baby eating in it. Yeah. <laughs> um the art that, that Dave made with Carcat, if 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 we want to stretch the definition of art being made together, that was more socially unacceptable. That qualifies, I think. Right, yeah. That's right. art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, D, we move on. Yeah. Okay. A socially unacceptable art gets a D. Is that enough time? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> Is that good for you? Here we are with Tavros and Aridin as Surf and Turf. I don't uh, get it. I mean, because like it, because surf and turf is like the the name of like usually it's like shrimp and steak. Oh, yeah. So it's a food name. It's it's a food yeah, it's name. A food yeah. Name. Okay. W one of the more clever food names. But... Yeah, yeah. I can I can at least accept. I can appreciate that there is a pun here, in yeah. some way. Yeah, and like technically, it does make the most sense with um, Tavros versus any of the other land dwellers because it is traditionally um, well. It's because it's because bull and fish, right? Like I can accept that yeah. Yeah. as the joke. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying, like sometimes surf and turf is chicken, but I think that's weird. I'm looking it up, we do an obnoxious amount of research for these. Yeah, this is why this is our third episode and it's not going to be finished this time. The first thing that comes up is a picture of a steak and just like a whole ass live lobster. Oh, yeah, that's a thing, too. I, okay. I like, yeah, at fancier places or like, you know, red lobster. But at like cheaper is... places, it's like some popcorn shrimp, right? <laughs> what's uh, what, what's this? What's this worth? No, what's this rated? <laughs> I don't know, like a C. C. C's fine. Yeah, okay. Once again, throwing Aridin out to the sea. 
I don't know. I'm also filled with bad jokes today. That's fine. It makes it more interesting. Speaking of interesting, uh, Equius and Dirk as sex bots. It's pretty straightforward. It is very Doesn't straightforward. Doesn't imply Dirk fucks his bots, though. But you know, he's all alone um, in that apartment in the fucking future. So, maybe. He'd never let us know, though. He would never. He would never. It'd be a dirty little secret he'd take to the grave. He fucked yep. Robot before sending it over to Jake. It's like indirect kiss. You're so right. <sighs> An indirect kiss over time and space. You're so right, and I hate it. Yeah. I I think you're wrong, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's hated equally. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, ignoring the dynamic and focusing entirely on the name. How can yeah. we ignore the dynamic when we're talking about a ship name? That's half the way we, sh- we, we rate ship names. Uh, I suppose. Okay, ignoring your dirty Dirk Jake propaganda in this dirk moment that we're trying to have. <laughs> I don't even like Dirk Jake. Um. That's a little bit of a lie. Uh, sex bots. I am so uncompelled by it, if I'm being frank. Yeah. Like, it's... Realistically, I understand that this probably deserves a C, right? But I'm just, I'm feeling so rude about it today that I don't want to give it more than a D. I think it's a very ironic name that Dirk would come up with, but it's... I think even he gets tired of it after a while. I think I found a second layer to this. Oh. Okay. What if we take a bot as not robots? What do you oh. mean? Oh, like Equi- the chat bots Equi- that um no. oh. That too. That too. I was thinking like the the chat bots that uh that uh bro but has. I don't I cuz I cuz I don't I don't really know about dark side. I don't have a good feeling for this. Uh Equius wants to be fucking dominated. <laughs> So bot as bottom? Yes. That's a stretch. That's a bit of a stretch. I can't that's get a, that That's a okay. big stretch. That's fine. Um, You're getting me there with the chat bots, but then that's more of a bro thing than a dark thing as far as we know. But, but, but yeah. how can you say that when the AR is an entire ass thing? Well, yeah. yeah, but Dirk is specifically not into the fact that AR and and uh, Roxy do uh, sexy chats. You know, that's Explicitly fair. against that. <laughs> Dirk, please don't use my AI bots for porn, Strider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please don't use the copy of my brain for heterosexual sex. D? 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, D works. All right, Sexbots gets a D. All the Ds they want, except I don't know. That's fine. Nepeta and Gamzy as Dark Pernival. I was about to say, I'm not saying any of these. My, I already. <sighs> I, I'm I'm already risking enough with the way my fucking cough decided to it's come off. It's gross to say. <sighs> Pernival? Yeah, it's just not as, I don't know, Carnival just doesn't lend itself that well to a per cat pun. Yeah, because, like, Pernival is not... Like, that's not really even a good portmanteau since it only shares the R. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's pretty bad. I can't I yeah. can't I can't lean into this at all. No. F <laughs> F. I th- I I can agree with F. I think that okay. I think that D would be fine, but I I like I said, I'm feeling mean today. F is great. <laughs> okay. I was going to say D, so you're the you're the tiebreaker. F. Uh, Let's go. Get okay. out of here. The the dark pernival gets an F. Ooh, that was even worse to say, <laughs> right? <laughs> Ugh. 
I don't get this one. Huh? Because... Aridin and Feferi as half life. Because he gets cut in half. Because he gets cut in half oh and she's God. life. Right. Okay. Oh, but, no. But, like, half life has a very specific meaning that has nothing to do with this. Yeah, nothing to do with the video game, nothing to do with what an actual half life is. Yeah. I replayed some of Half Life recently, and I won't have it disrespected like this. F. 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 <laughs> I played some Half Life too, and I was just not. This my is game. this is the mean episode. Half Life gets an F. <laughs> yeah. Car Cat and Nepeta as Car Kitten. This is familiar. Do we already have this, or do we have like Car Kitty or something? Okay, Car Kitty is a generic thing that, like, a lot of fans who write this ship will have her call him, which is uh, also counter to the comic where she says that she doesn't make cat puns out of his name except sometimes Car Cat to herself privately because it's so obvious. Well, then we have to rate this an F, right? I mean, if the shipper won't do names like this. Did she never say Car Kitty? In no. the entire series? No, I'm, like, pretty sure that it's just non-existent. It's a fan creation. Okay, alright. Like, ugh, uh, I, I will go find the 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 bit in that walk around where she says she doesn't make puns out of his name. No, that's, that's fine. Like, I believe you. We've, um, we've already established in a previous episode that Occasionally, my memories of, like, fan works and the official canon get a little bit muddled. Totally. While Dami and I are in the process of rereading it at different points in time. Yeah. This yeah. actually this actually isn't even something that I've recently seen, uh, because it's not until Murder Stuck, which we haven't gotten to yet. It's, it's something that I know from back when I was in the roleplay days, because that was how mm. you could tell which Nepeta roleplayers were, like, really committed to the bit. <laughs> And, nice. and not just, like, doing the cat girl thing. Nice, oh nice, nice. my god, okay. <laughs> That's good. It's very good. This ship, on the other hand, is very... Ve- well, not the ship, the name. Well, the so ship here's is adorable. the thing. Is I will rate it as an F if, like, for sure, Nepeta said in canon that she would not do a name like this. Uh... She did. I'll have to take a minute to pull it up, but I can tell you for sure that that is a thing she said. Then yeah, Uh, to me it's an F. Alright, F. Wrong. F. Wrong. Yeah, F. Car Car Kitten gets an F. For F. I'm gonna stop trying (laughs) to do that. (laughs) Only do it when when you've got a good one. Alright. Aridin and Roxy as white wixards. I don't like this. What is it? I don't really either. It's because, okay, they're both wizard fans, right? And then you've got right. Aridin with his whole white science stuff, right? And then, Oh, I forgot that it was, like, called white science? Yeah, 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 yeah. no. It's explicitly, he's all like, yeah, it's my white science, right? <laughs> I miss um, that. The fucking white supremacist vibes just shot up. Like, they were already pretty high before, you know? But, um, I I, I forgot that he said that. He sure does call it white science. Um, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. Uh, but, and then also Wixards, because Ro- Oxy, she's so drunk and typos all the time, get it? Uh-huh. Yeah. And X is just right next to Z on the keyboard, so somebody just did that. Somebody like just it. said, what's the easiest typo to make? I don't like it. I don't like it. F. I still say D. What does Dobby say? I Dobby? say D because it's not wrong, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It just like adds a racial element on it you know like since they're since it's not obvious what the white is referring to but like 
white, like, okay, like, I get what you're saying, and, like, there's certainly issues with the whole concepts of, like, white and black magic in general, right? But, like, the white science joke is, like, because of, like, white magic, white mages, like, Final Fantasy type shit. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't saying the racial about white magic versus black magic, but I think if you're just saying, yeah, look at those white wizards. I don't know. Um, maybe it's just because Homestuck and Hussey have such bad racial yeah. shit. No, that's fair. Yeah. I get it. I, d- I definitely don't think that's what's being implied here. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. It, I just, it just, to me, it just should have been thought of. Uh, but no, I, I, I don't hate it that much. I'm fine with a D. Um, okay. I am stretching that in my head because that's what I first thought of when I saw this. But. Yeah, White Wizards gets a D. Wixards. Wixards. See, what, okay, how would, would your vote change if there were some double W's in here? Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's still, it's still, it's still a D. As Tavros and Terezi, as Dragonfly. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fan of this. Like, I get it. It would make a little bit more sense if it was Rufio or uh, the Summoner instead of Tavros, but it's still bad. Yeah. It's 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 rough. Yeah, it's especially without like, I. I almost feel like this would be better with the addition of Riska in here because she is the one that said "fly, pupa, fly," and then pushed him off a cliff. Yeah, that's also the moment that she says, um, "Adios, Torador." Um, I yeah. looked that up later. Or Tor snore. Um, yeah. Well, she calls him Torea snore. Ages before that, too. I know, but we were specifically talking about the phrase audio, uh, "adios" to race. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, this is I hate having such like a string of bad, but sometimes it's just a string of bad. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, it's I no get great. it. I get it, but I don't like it. It's a D. It's a it's a D. Yeah. Yeah. Dragonfly gets a D. Um, it's uh, John and Nakata as tea cupcakes or or tea cupcakes, teacup hyphen cakes. I have to imagine that this was made before Act Six, or else that would be Jane instead of John. I mean, John still does have a lot of link to cakes, although it's more. But he fucking hates cakes. Antagonistic, yeah, yeah. So this sucks. Also, yeah, this does suck. also <laughs> why 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 teacup? Because, because her land, land of little cubes and tea. To make it oh, LOL okay. cat. Yeah. Um, okay, got that. But, but yeah, I I was saying Dami that it would be better if it was Jane instead of John, but I assume this was made pre X mm, six. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I agree. Yeah. I would be sold on this as a Jane as a as a Jane Nep thing. Yeah. Uh D but as is, F. yeah, like a D. Yeah, still D. T Cupcakes gets a D. This run sucks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a look, we've been mean. We've been pretty mean historically. I I think this this round has just sucked so far. I don't think we've been overly harsh. Yeah. Like we'll find shit that we like, just it hasn't been yet. The the Christmas spirit has infected us and we all hate it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's funny. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tavros and Aridin as legless love. This Yeah, it's 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 kinda funny. Yeah. It's kinda it, funny. It's not it's not good. Yeah, it's just alliteration, not like a, a reference to anything, right? Well, I mean, it's a reference both, to well, the I mean, the fact that, that they don't they have legs, but I mean, like the phrase <laughs> "legless love" isn't like a play on some other phrase. It's just alliteration. I don't think so. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I probably. Somebody will correct us. What do you see? Yeah, yeah, I can give a C. Yeah. Okay. Legless. Why does everything with Eridan get the C? <laughs> <laughs> this one's also very funny. Kanaya and Eridan saw right through you. And hey, hey, I'm gonna take a hard line stance on this one as an A. I'll agree. Uh, y- I was thinking B, but I'll I'll bump up to A. I was I was also thinking B because this is it's a it's a bit wordy, but <laughs> god damn it, is it funny? Is this so really good? It's very funny. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll go to I'll go to an A. Saw right through you gets an A. <laughs> you might disagree, and that's okay. Yeah. Kanaya and Gamzee as Grapevine. And this I cannot tolerate. <laughs> I don't... Is it? I, I think it's just colors. It's just, it's just food. It's just food. Wait, it's yeah. just colors, though. Like, it's not... It's just... Yeah. There's nothing here that says these two characters in particular. Like, they're not Absolutely gossips. Not. Right. Yeah. Maybe I Kanaya, mean, but not Gamzee. I was about to say... Yeah. Can I? Yeah, can I as a gossip? Yeah. Gamzee, I... probably the best secret keeper in Homestuck, to be honest, yeah. now that I'm thinking about it. I, I mean, quite explicitly, he does paint out that whole book with Equius's blood. Yep. Yeah. Uh, F? F. F. Grapevine's an F. psionic and the condus as literal shipping very good (laughs) very good this this is for me this is an a this is an a yeah 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 this is is very good (laughs) i so which uh, one's better which one's better literal shipping or uh I'm in oh love god! Car. We... Saw right yeah, I was saying, did we already do that one? Oh no, we did already do that one. <laughs> okay, which one's better? Literal shipping is just shorter, which to me makes it. I like, do they're, like they're literal on... shipping more. Yeah, yeah, it's just smoother. Okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, literal shipping gets an A. We're really, we're really going easy on these comedy ones, guys. <laughs> I thought this was the mean one. You can't say we're going too easy and we're the mean episode. <laughs> we're just doing off of vibes. It's got nothing to do with being mean or easy. Solix and Equius as hardware software. I mean... Is, is this a reference to something or is this just two words smashed together? I think it's just two words smashed together because, I mean, because Solix does programs and yeah, it, Equius does uh, robots. Yeah. It is. It is. Equius is the hardware and Solix is the software. Just by their skill sets. I don't know. I just want to make innuendos out of these. If it if it doesn't come across immediately as a reference to something, I'm like, does it fit as an innuendo? And I'm like, yes, it does. Uh, Equius it is does. hard. And Solix is flaccid. He can't get it up. Okay, but that's... that's I mean, I was just gonna go with, like, (laughs) hard boy and soft boy. Uh, Oh, I said in a (laughs) window. Now, come come now. Come now. That's not fair. We don't know through canon that Solix has erectile dysfunction. (laughs) Okay, well, if one of them's hardware and one one of them's software... One of them's gotta. <laughs> Could be Equius, you don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense with the other... I'm just saying, if I look at this as a whole picture, the innuendo's in there, Um, Solix can't get it up. It's because he has two dicks, and it's just not enough blood supply. Okay, okay. I buy your explanation, and still like this a D. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good with D. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I. I have extra knowledge in this particular subject that I'm not going to give. You'll have to pry it out of me. Oh, hardware I'm software prying. gets a D. Pry. No, hold on. What no. the fuck are you talking about? Podcast <laughs> over until you tell me. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you remember a blog called I Fucking Love Science from like oh, yeah, a absolutely. long time ago? It's still on Facebook. Um, right, but it's bad now. Oh, it's terrible. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty terrible. Yeah. A, l- a long time ago, they did a really in-depth story of a guy with two dicks. And they went really in-depth into his sex life. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to recount a lot of it here um but at least from this one anecdotal story having two dicks does not diminish prowess <laughs> to be fair solix is a troll we don't know how the anatomy works yeah but uh i guess good to know yeah i'll keep that in mind yeah uh, what? What is? Did we ever say what this is? Well, D. I think we all said D. Me and Jack said D, and then you decided you had expertise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Hardware software gets a D, maybe two. Who knows? I should hope there's at least two. <laughs> I can't believe you're transphobic, dummy. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. Fuck. God damn it. (laughs) Got you. (laughs) Dave and Aradia as time warp. Is it is it just because that's a that's a time phrase? Or is there a Yeah, I think so. Well they do constantly keep doing the time warp again. They do. And again, yeah, and again, Yeah, but that's any again. time player pair. Also, both of these people pretty explicitly stop doing the time warp again and again and again. Yeah. Yeah. One of them to usher the dead in one because uh, the denial of the, the hero's call. Um, and then it stayed denied. Mostly. Is there a line in that song about them stopping doing the time warp? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Or is it just all about going? I only know the one line. It's Rocky Horror. Why would there ever be a line about stopping about anything? That's from Rocky Horror? Yeah, you didn't know that? (laughs) No. Yeah, that's from Rocky Horror. My experience with Let's Do the Time Warp Again is from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series. That's so funny. (laughs) No, it's a Rocky Horror. Wait, okay, have you seen Rocky Horror then? Uh, yes, but... I didn't care about it, so it just okay, kind of... It's gone. All memory of it is gone. Yeah, no, this is a Rocky Horror thing. Yeah. Does that have any implications with the ship? Not really. I think so. Okay. Didn't think so. Unless they're both, you know, uh, transvestites from... Transylvania. Sweet transvestites from transsexual Transylvania? Yeah. It's been a while since I watched it. I'm a trans femme. I'm legally obligated to know the entire line by heart. <laughs> That's true. That's true. The second you uh, post online that you're uh, that you're trans femme, they uh, send you the paperwork. <laughs> yeah. And Fuck. the movie. That is the perk to being trans femme is you do get a free copy of the movie. Um. What, what are we rating this? A D... Technically yeah. right, but uninspired, uninteresting. Yeah, yeah. this could be yeah, any very... pair of characters, any pair of time yeah. characters. It yeah, could be time me warp. And Dave. It could be you and Dave. Have you ever time warp? It could be. No, but I am a time player. So yeah, I mean, and theoretically, I mean, you've... one day you had that a uh, time time warp in your uh, that one D and D campaign, right? Oh yeah, no, there was. Yeah, no. For a little while, there was a uh, there was a god tier time player version of me running around my D and D campaign selling magic items. 
Yeah. Okay. That's the loose. <laughs> if if that makes you in this ship, it makes me in this ship because behind me, there's the entire Doctor Who set of the Time War audio dramas. Like, but you did you did you but play? Did you, did you? Yeah. Is your character in there? No. Then it I doesn't think. count. Um. Hold up. It counts hold up. For hold me up. Because it was literally me. Also, uh. So far on my Homestuck polls, that accounts for 9.3% out of 1,371 votes of time players could be in this ship. <laughs> How many is okay. that, Justin? I I don't know. I've already forgotten the numbers that you just said. Look, Think can we just anyways. rate the thing a D and move on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Time Warp gets a D. Nepeta and Terezi as cardiac arrest. I think it's cute. Okay. It is a little bit cute. I don't I don't hundred percent get it. I get arrest from Terezi. Right. Where does cardiac come into this? Heart. Oh, because she's a heart player. Heart player. Okay. Alright. The doors are opening to me. Okay. To see how incredibly lame this is, it's a D. It's no, <laughs> at least a C. Come on, I think it's. I think it's a little bit cute. I do think it's a. I think it's like on the border between C and D. No, okay. C, C, fully C. I can accept a C. Cool. Okay, cardiac arrest gets a C. <laughs> you sound so disappointed about it. I was thinking a B, but then that was immediately out of the, out of the question. No, that was. Thousand percent wrong. Ah, of course. Terezi and Briska as scourge cest. I'm saying, uh, Homestuck makes everything incest. Th these two aren't related outside of how all trolls are related to each other. But because they're called the Scourge Sisters, it gets called Scourge Cest because Homestuck is the incest fandom. Yeah. It does uh, frustrate me to have this uh this shit be incest baiting me and then not deliver. Yeah, oh, it's like those, those, like those Genshin Impact boys who everyone says are related, but they're I, not. The, yeah, the Blood Brothers is a different thing than yeah. Brothers by Blood. Like, like, that's not... I just yeah. hit my mic. I'm sorry again that's for fine. causing you more work. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, Homestuck can get away with it a little bit more because like, everybody is related yeah, like canonically, all novels are incest related, but except, except, except for these specific, like these twenty four trolls are not That's related true. because they were all fucking cloned or whatever. That's yeah, true. No, these are the alpha kids. They fucking none of them are related. Some of the before us trolls are related. We don't know who. We didn't see the ectobiology process. Right. Wait. Okay. Sorry, I am going to pause the podcast. Okay. So n some of the before us trolls are related? Okay, so follow me on this, right? I'm trying. Well, the, all because everybody's made from pairs, some some of them have to be related in some form or another, but we don't see it, so we don't know who. Yeah, so the post-scratch kids, right? The alpha kids. They're okay, the ones no, who get I to be I just went not through all, <coughs> all that. Yeah, what? I just, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I finally understood that for the first time and explained it on a podcast episode. Yes, no, I, I'm very proud of you. I did listen to that recently. <laughs> I am, I am, like, getting us there at the baseline so that I can explain the thought process with the trolls, right? Sorry, you listened to it recently? Because I just did that in the most recent one. Oh, I thought you started talking about it in the episode that I just started editing. Maybe we just talked about it offhand. I, yeah, I did mention anyway. it offhand. Sorry. Anyway, so the Alpha Kids, none of them are related to each other. They're post-scratch. They get their genes recombined to make the Beta Kids, making the, some of the Beta Kids related. These are the post-scratch trolls. Yeah. So logic stands that they are all not related to each other, and then when Carcat did the ectobiology... 
they got their genes recombined somehow to make the Beforest Trolls. Yeah, I guess we don't see any uh, Carcat doing it, any ectobiology. We just see all the little yeah, troll babies. It's because yeah. we don't see Carcat do the ectobiology process. It is impossible to know which of the Beforest Trolls are related. Uh, that's all a matter of your head canon. Secret incest. It's kind of like how if you don't do the DLC for uh, Fates, you can have an incest chip and have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Fates is so funny. Fire Emblem Fates is the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> it's like you have, like, the siblings you grew up with, but you're not blood related. You have the siblings you think you're blood related to, but you're not. And then you have what seems to be, like, a canonical obvious ship for a male, um, uh, Corrin. That's the incest ship in DLC. And you just don't learn that she's your cousin until you she's... do the DLC. Right. Very funny. Um, anyway, secret Dancester incest is my new passion. Yeah, I hope you can take <laughs> that into the world, uh, and enjoy it. Um, yeah. As for Scourge Cest, we should talk about our actual opinions on this ship name now. I don't like it because these are these these are explicitly two people who can't who, two trolls who cannot have cest. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. The only person Vriska is related to is Vriska and her own descendants, which yeah. we only know one of them. I, I I say no. I say get this shit out of here. This, no, this, as far Skirt as I'm Sess concerned, is, F. Skirt says gets an F. I, I yeah. will. I will. I I don't really think it deserves above an F, but I will um, champion for D just because it is one of those classic names. Okay, I hear you, but I also think that if this name started coming back into like public use, it would it would get so much hate, right? And I see that is the opposite of arguing me away from a d Ugh. i make just, I don't stuff think weird again is, no i agree <laughs> i'm just saying i don't think that this is like it's not a good i do not name. like it's not iconic anymore because i don't think that people would use it widely right i yeah. think it was at one point iconic but i think it's lost that privilege but it yeah. has but not through like not because people just decided it was a bad ship name from like obvious merits but yeah well that's what I, we're here for is to decide that it's a bad ship name from obvious merits yeah i mean that's not 100 percent true but <laughs> I, I, again, i'm not gonna fight i'm not gonna die this is not a hill i will die on i'm not gonna brennan lee mulligan this shit i'm fine with f is what i'm saying how do you think brennan lee mulligan would rate this <laughs> I think if, listen, I'm not <laughs> saying he would rate it high. I'm just saying if you said um, you need to argue that this is a D, he would convince you. <laughs> he would at least try, and I, I don't think it would work. Yeah. Yeah. Scourge, Scourge says gets an F. Carcat and Nepeta as cat shipping. Do we automatically just rate any like cat pun between Carcat and Nepeta as an F because Nepeta explicitly canonically doesn't do it? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. This is the one that she explicitly sometimes do does on occasion because it's so obvious. That's fair. I still think it doesn't get above, like, I don't know, D or a C, because it's, yeah. like, still not obviously Carcat. Yeah, it's still... It's not, I don't know, it's uninspired, I believe, taking your word from earlier. Yeah. Yeah. D's fine. Yeah, if Cat Shipping gets a D. Aridin and Roxy as scarf shipping. We've been getting a lot of X shipping. We got the literal shipping, we got the cat shipping, now we get the sh scarf shipping. Um, it's fine. It's fine. You need to put mom in here. Um, and dad Egbert in here. 
<laughs> it's true. <laughs> you make a good um, point. Um, I think you need both moms in here because doesn't Roxy? Yeah. So you need to put Rose, mom and mom, because Roxy gets hers from Rose, right? From yeah, from they get her they mom. get their scarves from each other. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you need to put all of the Lalans in here. And Dad Egbert. So this is one that you think would apply to just multiple pairings so we can get rid of it? No, yeah. I think this should be not just multiple pairings. I think it needs to be all of them. If we're going to do scarf to shipping, it's all scarf. these scarves. Okay. In fairness, okay, in fairness, Dad Egbert makes sense to not be here because that's Mom's scarf. Yeah, but he holds on to it for 13 years. You make a good point. I think after 13 years, you get into the scarf club. <laughs> if anything, scarf shipping should just be Mom and Dad because... The yeah. scarf is so core to their ship. <laughs> if it is yeah. going to be just two characters, it should be Mom and Dad. Yeah. Okay, so F wrong? F wrong. I mean, not wrong, but wrong enough. <laughs> wrong enough for an F. Yeah. Yeah, Scarf Shipping gets an F. I don't care uh, what Jax has to say. Because you didn't cast your vote. That's that's fine. I don't care to argue anything above. Hey! You're you're the uh, Jane Cat shipper, right? I am the Jane Cat shipper. Car Cat and Jane as crab cakes. I just want crab cakes, you know. I yeah yeah fair. I've seen this one before. It is a food one. It's kind of lame, but it works. Yeah, it's not I just am... like based off their colors, right? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. just like peanut butter and jelly. Like it's still a food name, but it's at least a little bit above colors. Like lemon yeah. and blueberry. Yeah. I want to say C, C because I think that this name actually really works, right? Like, it's pretty clear who it's talking about. Um, But I also recognize that I'm probably biased towards any any content for these two. Yeah, any Jane <laughs> Cat. So, please feel free to disagree. No, I'm good with a C. I... I uh, yeah okay that's fine I would definitely go lower but not enough to outweigh you two yeah it's and then it works because it's crab cakes C yeah crab cakes gets a C Gamzee and Roxy is Wong Kong this I like it a lot this is at least a B <laughs> for me if it's, not an A it's fun to say Wong Kong it is it, it is it's 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 them core. It sounds like it could be an innuendo uh, that no one else outside of the two of them would understand. <laughs> okay, look, yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're gonna hate this, Jax. Will I? Yes. I actually like this. I like this a lot, but it does have real mime sorry energy, and that kind of brings it down. Ah, well, <laughs> it? it's just higher for me. I don't see how it has my I'm sorry energy. Um, sorry. I don't really I'm either. sorry energy. Um, but I mean, I loved my I'm sorry, as Justin knows. I don't know if you watched the video, Dami. No, nah, no, nah, I... I did see because Justin Oh, showed. yeah, Justin posted it in the chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think that this is just charming because it's fun to say, but it does fit them as well. So I'm it, I'm I'm comfortable with like a B, maybe an I a. F this is Roxy okay, would gets... say this as soon as she yeah. met Gamzy, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. I this is, I feel like this is very close to what to something that Roxy would would say, because I almost want to turn it around. I almost want to make it a honk wonk, <laughs> <laughs> because I. That's somehow I'll funnier honk to me. Your wonk if you wonk my honk, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, now we're writing fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. B A B B 
Yeah, I said I was I was uh good for an A, but B is also fine. Okay. Well, uh, Wong Kong gets a B, I guess. Cool. It's still very funny. Wong Kong. Wong Kong. Tavros and Vriska as Spider Ball. Like uninspired. I, it is. I don't know why my brain is like checking the good box in my head because I don't think it's good. Maybe I've just I don't even think I've seen it a lot. But something about this is familiar and good in my head, and I'm not happy with it. I feel like I've been infected <laughs> by a mind virus. It's like you I know, know what in, it in is. D&D when someone like like mind controls you and you just like have to do whatever uh-huh. because the DM said you're mind controlled now. I'll tell you what I think it is. Okay. I think it's because I think your brain is recognizing this as like a good joke because it has a roughly similar vocal tenor to Spider Bitch. Which oh. like is a term that you have a lot of positive connotations with, right? I do, yes. That could be it. Um, F for mind tricks. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so I've I've come across a couple things. Okay. Um one, a bull spider is a real spider. Okay. Name it uh, that it's, then. It's it's very it's very creepy. Um, Listen, we've too... we've cut off arrowfish and a bunch of other fish that are real fish. Yeah. But also the spider bull, the Ushioni, is a is a yokai. Um then get Damara in here. I don't think it has I don't yeah. think it has anything to do with this ship. Okay. Based on what I'm reading. It's not about falling off cliffs or anything. No. Yeah, no, if we're gonna get the yokai stuff in here, d- get Damara in on this. Yeah. And then we can talk. Yeah. As of the moment, unclever, uninspired F. The the closest thing and even this is a real stretch, is that the Ushioni um, roams, like, a seaside looking for victims to to spin up and eat as a spider. Okay, but that's, that's just a Vriska thing. I yeah. know, I know. Yeah, okay, no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. What did you all say when I was reading? F. F? Okay, Spider Bull gets an F. That's fine. Tavros and Aridon is hipster PB and J. Hate it. F. You think this would be vegan PB and J if it were made today? What? No. <laughs> because hipster, like I feel like I feel like if Homestuck were remade today. Um, hipster wouldn't be like quite on top of the consciousness as as everything. I think it would be like either vegan or organic or something that's pretentious. Like like I know that that Aridin does have those hipster vibes, but I think they're just more pretentious vibes that can be translated into other shit. Okay, it's a bull and a fish. There's nothing vegan about this. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I, I see your vision. Yeah. It's possible. I still I still don't like it. Well uh-uh. no, it's like still bad. It's still very bad. I just I don't think hipsters have as much of a cultural impact for the youth it, these days. Okay. It is also, I will say, I will say, okay. I'm gonna come to bat for it. Oh. Alright. I still think it's bad, but I'll come to bat for it. It's not just hipster because Aridin's kind of a hipster. It's hipster PB and J because PB and J is Tavros and Gams. Well, yeah, yeah. So this is the hipster PB and J. Yeah, but I'm saying that the noun hipster is because of Aridin, and hipsters were more of a cultural phenomenon. And now, if we're going to like have to have a separator from what what PB and J is, 
with uh, Gamzee and Tavros to be with uh, Aridin, we might choose um, organic or something. Yeah, but I think this is a little cleverer than that. Just a little. I guess. Like, the specific use of the word hipster has a place here, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I still think I... it's like a, a D, maybe. Oh, I still think it's like an F. Okay. I yeah, like this I less no, this than is still an F. J. Yeah. I, okay. I don't like ship names that require you to know other ship names. That makes sense. Mm, yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way that my brain works because I, like, isolate everything, but. No, I'm with you. Ugh. Yeah, hipster PB&J gets an F. I learned on Jukebox, the ghost podcast, that you don't have to cough. If you feel like you're going to cough, you can just not. And I'm trying so hard. Anyway. I am deeply sorry for your cough. <laughs> anyway, continue. Aradia and Carcat as Rusty Crab. Oh, no. What I does it mean? It. I said Isn't it. The Krusty Crab. The Krusty Crab, but yeah. Rusty Crab. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Because she's rusty and he's a crab. Yeah. I don't like it. Maybe if one of them were really into capitalism. <laughs> she was rusty. He was a crab. Can I make <laughs> it any more obvious? <laughs> no, F. Bad. No, F. Yeah, awful. F. This is uh, absolutely awful. Why I can't believe we this? had like two good ones in this entire string of bullshit. Rusty Crab gets an F. Yeah, fuck it. The the beta kids, all of them, all of them, as kids and fun. I don't get it. I don't get it. Either. Hold on. It sounds like it might be like a store name almost. Yeah. Hold on, let me look this up. What is what is kidsandfun.com, kids the best site for kids and parents on the internet. The place for coloring pages, craft tips, wallpapers, and puzzles. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. This is one of those really early ass, like, edutainment portals for kindergartners. Nice. I will say. Okay, okay. Look, if I'm going to play devil's advocate on occasion. I do appreciate that this is like an early internet thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because like, you know, Homestuck Kids, early internet. It's it's a vibe that goes together. Yeah. I think that just gets it to a D, though. Kids and kids and Fun, having looked at the website for a minute, um, beyond the massive pop-up for cookie acceptance that they have, uh, this this website is for five year olds. Like the the beta kids are not the target demo for kids and fun. No, they're not. Yeah, I I'd say D maybe if we're being generous. Okay, but I mean, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right? There are kids like, and they have fun. Yeah, it's true. I just think that if we're going to do big, big, big kid poly shipping stuff, right, it's it's difficult to reach the heights of Alpha Beta Soup, and it's going to tarnish everything that can. Yeah, this is definitely nowhere near Alpha Beta Soup. That's a fantastic one. Get it out of here. Kids and f this is a D. Kids and Fun gets a D. Oh. Oh. Jake and Dirk as broccoli and cheese. This sucks. This is a bad Gross. This is so bad. I Gross. feel like they F. would both be offended if they knew this was a shit. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> this is this is bad. This is an F automatically. Broccoli and cheese is an F. Or it's gone. by. Tavros and Carcat as bullcrab. Well, you were saying there were some bullshit chips. 
Get out of here. Boo. I have to I have to see this and listen to you say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is an F. Can this we just call F. this an F and move yeah, on? Yeah. Do we need fine. to explain Bo- ourselves? No. <laughs> no, we don't. He was bull, he was crab. Except they're kind of not. <laughs> Make kiss, it kiss an F going on. What if all these like referencing their signs were just actually the ships between the um uh uh between their less eye? Yeah. Like what if we were just replaced uh, all of the ones that reference their zodiac <laughs> sign with their less eye? Uh, Jack Noir and the Parcel Mistress as blackmail. I mean, that's specifically Beck Noir. I think it should have been uh, Jack Noir. No, nah, you're right. Oh, uh... Or was that a you thing? Hold on. I may have just used the exact same sprite for all of the Jack stuff. That's fair. I just feel... I don't know. Okay, pretend it... Pretend. Pretend for a moment that it's Jack Noir standing there. Uh, A... <laughs> no, I do. I agree. Sorry, just like a little thing. Actually, huh? Hold up, hold up. The the sheet that you sent me says PM slash Beck Noir. Oh, terrible. Oh, awful. What? Oh, that's bad. Yeah, why? I don't know. Why would it say Beck Noir? <laughs> don't know. Um, that's bad. Get that out of here. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Because uh, it would be so good if it was Jack Noir. Like, if it's Beck Noir in PM, then we've got so much more dog shit to worry about. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Like, this is, this is pre-her like, being a dog. Yeah, I think my problem here is that these two versions of the characters that are on screen never interact, right? Well, yeah, they don't interact. They... She's just there when he murders everyone. And then she puts on the ring and, then and they she interact. goes, yeah. and then she's done. Yeah, they, they, they barely exist at the same time yeah. relative to each other. Right. Like, so, like, like, Blackmail is a good ship name for this before the dog shit. But after the dog shit, no, you gotta lean into the dog rivalry. Yeah. Right? Right. At, le- at least, even if we're doing this in the span of, like, two seconds or whatever that these people existed next to each other, lean into dog versus mailman. Right! As like, mm. Right. This is so annoying. I don't like this it. This is so annoying because <laughs> it's so close to being good. <laughs> Another version of this exact timeline character. Get this guy five hours in the past. <laughs> this guy five hours ago. This same dude. No changes, but he doesn't have a ring on his finger. I want to give it a good... I want to give it a good grade because it's a good ship name for these two, but it has to be a bad grade because, like, you explicitly use the wrong version. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. Okay. Jack Noir and Beck Noir are the same person. But the dynamic changes so much. Now he's hot. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know if I agree with that. But okay. I think, I think he's hot no matter what you do to him. Okay. But he had a glow up. Anyway, it's I don't know, it just It breaks my heart that they said Beck Noir. How about we split the difference? Call it a C. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Blackmail gets a C for Confused. <laughs> <laughs> Confused, but th- but it's got the spirit. Mindfang and Briska as yo-hos. This should have been all the pirates. 
yeah, no, Dual Scar needs to be here. Aranea needs to be here. I would be fine without yeah. Arania in here just because she's only pirate. She's not pirate coded at all, except for the fact that okay, she's also my thing. Fair. But like, I mean, Aridin, because Vriska and Aridin went off and did pirate shit. Um, it very, it very at least needs to be like the pairs of Vriska, Aridin, and their ancestors. Does Mina get get to be here? Mina gets to be here too. Yes. Anyway, um, this is bad. So like, yeah, with two here, with two eye this. patches on needs to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Even if this was all the pirates, I wouldn't be in. No, this. it's still bad. Yeah, I just want there to be more yeah, poly ships, it, and they have so many opportunities for them, and they miss. Like I, I get it as like the pirate yo ho, but like. The okay. way that the yo hos implies that they're both like really promiscuous. It also implies someone <laughs> saying okay. it to them. Okay, you know what? Actually, I have one very specific way in which I like this ship name, but it doesn't involve any of the characters on screen strictly. Okay. Is it, it if there was a comma? It works. It works if it's Mina specifically at the head of a polycule of all of the pirate trolls. <laughs> right? Because then it's something that Mina would say to all of her pirate hoes. Yeah, that's true. To get their attention, right? Because she's the captain. Like, if Mina was the captain of the pirate ship and they were all her polycule, this would be fine. Yes, I agree. Yeah. But none of that is not. true. None of that is true. I've just written a compelling fanfic. Yeah, so this is an F. And this is an F. Yeah. Yo hoes is an F. Dave Sprite and Aradia Sprite as Sprite Time. I like it. Because they're both sprites and they're both time. Yeah. Okay, sure. I and can neither see that. and neither of them can enjoy a sprite anymore. Alright, fine. I I immediately heard a get out from the background after I said that. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, go let them know they have good comedic timing. Uh, uh, certainly. <laughs> yeah. Encourage them. Uh, more. A D. Yeah, I mean, this is. I think it. I think it deserves a C just because, like, these are the two time sprites. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. C. Sprite time is a C. John and Jade as Dorksest. This is funny. This is cute. I mean, I like... This is good. I, I do like it. Yeah. Um, I feel like it does fit them more than it fits any other Sess ship. Like... They do get called dorks. They are dorks. Because they are. Yeah. Intensely. Like, if you say dork in a homestuck context, right, your brain goes to these two. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah. Like a like a, a B? I think I think it's an a B, maybe even an A. Yeah. Uh I don't I don't think it's an A. It's still kinda it's still kinda uninspired. It's still kind of a basic name. Okay. I will. I'll. I'll say a B. That's yeah. fine. B. All right. Dork says it's a B. Rufio and Horus as mechanical bull. Is this because Rufio gets mechanical centaur legs? In like one of the the, not like the Rufio we talked to, but in one of the like the big, all the all the. Uh, alternate timeline people show up and one is Rufio with centaur legs. I want it to be. I want it to be that. Yeah. I'm gonna choose to believe that it is. Instead of something very basic and annoying? Yes. I like it if it's about that. But like a C kinda like it, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Mechanical Bull gets a C. I don't have any strong opinions on this one, honestly. Yeah, fair. I'm not reading this one. <laughs> You're not? Okay, fine. It's it's John and Aridin as Jonathan. I think it's cute. I I actually really like yeah. this as a now, pun. Now this this is the mime sorry energy <laughs> talking. <laughs> <laughs> I again, I don't see it. This doesn't make me sad. Okay, you, you, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> you have been sold on the energy at this point with this one. I can't, no, no. This <laughs> makes Jonathan. me equally as sad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, because, because Aridin has a lisp. Jonathan. No. Jonathan. No. <laughs> is is Aridin explicitly stated as having a lisp? No, no Solix he's is not. But um, yeah, it's I, was, not I knew even, Solix is. It's it's not even a lisp. It's just like it's just like he's Irish. It's just like a British accent. It's yeah, it's just the right kind of British accent. I don't I don't like this. Would it be Cockney Look, to I say cannot. Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, it's a little Cockney. Which, as a side note, it's really funny to me that everybody keeps portraying Aridin with, like, Irish and Cockney accents, because they're, like, quote-unquote, like, low-class low Yeah, I was about British to say, Cockney ex- culture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, f- fucking, there's a whole f- whole play about that, whole musical, about how Cockney accents are low-class. Anyway. I just like the pun. No, I hate it. I love it. Look, you That's- two... Look, you two are going to rate it, and then I'm going to bring down your average with D. <laughs> but fucking, I'm going to get outvoted, so whatever. Yeah. I, I, I put, I don't, mm, I, like, I really like this. I feel, I feel. No. An A? Like no, I'm, I'm putting, an I, A? I feel like I'm putting it way too high a? as I'm saying being an betrayed. A. A. I'm being betrayed. <laughs> A. a, everybody saw it happen. Everybody watched <laughs> you stab me in the back like this. Well, you know, if you edited the video, you'd get to put your own little sneak peek about what your actual thoughts are. Um, <laughs> That's why I'm making them well known right now. <laughs> I am. The Ides of March have come. I'm being, I'm being fucking eviscerated upon the Senate floor as we speak. I'm gonna edit it to make you say that you love it. I'll just <laughs> copy audio from somewhere else where you say you really like it. <laughs> I love it. It's Jonathan. So good. <laughs> <laughs> lucky for you. Lucky for me. I never said the name. <laughs> 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 right, right. You're 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 right. You're right. So it would be more like bases. Jonathan <laughs> <laughs> as we splice it together. <sighs> we'll see how much effort Jax is willing to put in. None. <laughs> because that's the amount of effort I would put in for that bit. Yeah. But I know it's not the amount of effort Jax would put in. <laughs> no. Jax is not Put uh, in the so it's an S. Okay, well that's a little oh too my far. God. No, <laughs> that's that's wrong. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, we split the middle. Two A's and a D is a B. Are we really gonna get? I Dami appreciate back? it. Are you being nice, to Dami? What? That's how we've done this before. Did we do that for my, I'm sorry. Or if one of us. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, we did not. Yeah, no, I'm getting outvoted. That's okay. But you, you, you countered, and in the actual video, and it's fine. I did. Sorry, audio only listeners. Yeah. Look, just get this out of my face, please. <laughs> Jonathan gets a B. I'm sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aradia and Equius as Iron Maiden. 
I'm sold. It's a B. <laughs> really? Yeah. So after the last thing I had to look at, you can't yes. do that. You can't <laughs> give palate cleansers That's a not... higher grade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this wasabi, this ginger is actually so much better than the sushi that this is my favorite thing so far. That would be funny though. <laughs> Here's the, I I like okay. I do like Iron Maiden as like a name. I think it I think it has the potential to be very clever and cool. But I don't see any link between the music or the torture device. It's just because this ship. like it, to me, it just describes Aradia because she was an Iron Maiden because she was a robot, and but it's Equius who made her that. Yeah, yeah. but like sh- he isn't the Iron Maiden. He just uh, has uh, degradation kinks. Yeah, she's his Iron Maiden. But there's no possession in here. It's just Iron Maiden. That's just Aradia. I disagree. I think that there is implied acquiescence. I think if you put an S calling Aradia that. If you put an S on the end, it would just be Aradia Aradia and there would be no thought of Equius. No one would be <laughs> like, Oh, um Iron Maiden, well Equius made that, so maybe he should be in here somewhere. No. You know what? You know what? You've actually sold me on an entirely different ship, <laughs> which is uh Aradia Bot and Jade Bot. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> like, I'm not saying Iron Maiden is the worst ship name. I'm just saying that is about as bad as things we've rated D's and F's. I think it's a C at least. I think it's a C because it's it, it, it's got a little bit more than just slamming he was iron, she's a maiden. Because <laughs> he wasn't iron. Um... No, I <laughs> look, I get where you're coming from that it's mostly about Aradia here, but it's about what he did to her. And I think yeah. that, that 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 means that they're both Well, in, maybe we right? should just add Friska in here. <laughs> Why? Cuz it was her idea. Obviously, she was the mastermind behind everything and because that was the whole joke, right? Is that Friska was trying to take credit for what Equius did? Yeah, but the the joke is that she actually it it what like she's trying to take credit for it, and it was she wasn't actually involved at all. Yeah, but if Equius gets to be part of Iron Maiden, then so does Friska. No, because Equius actually did it. Friska did not. <laughs> but Friska did everything. Okay, I can't believe we're having this argument right now. Hold on, Jax. Yeah. Jax, are you saying that? That, that Iron Maiden would go up a letter grade if Equius wasn't here it was just already <laughs> <laughs> no I'm saying it's not a good ship name <laughs> like Omnipotent Trickster wasn't a good ship name because it was just Doc Scratch right but like but it's not just a radia it's the yeah I, I like yeah the name itself is very iridia centric but we have to look at the greater context of it i feel I just, like I, yeah like okay it's it's not just that omnipotent tricksters was a bad ship name because it was only talking about doc scratch it was also a bad ship name because it didn't say anything about them in relation to one another Right? Like, if if the ship name was descriptive of Doc Scratch, but it felt like a way that Damara would have actually viewed him, I would have bought that ship name more. This has something like that going on, where yes, it is technically a descriptor of Aradia, but it is a descriptor of Aradia that Equius Equius is explicitly responsible for being applicable. I think you're just not going to convince me. Okay, and that's all right. 
But you're not going to convince me either. <laughs> I I Wait, was pretty on. clear on that. I figured that long ago. <laughs> I've found something. Okay. This might be a huge stretch. It probably is. It's probably 100% unintended uh, by the by whoever wrote this. Death of the author. Go on. Um. Remember when Aradia first got the robot body? Uh huh. And it was pr- it, like it was literally programmed to have romantic feelings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There is an Iron Maiden song called "All in Your Mind." Okay. Okay. Like I said, it's a real big. <laughs> like I said, it's a real, real big stretch. Okay. By that point, we really should be adding Vriska in here. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I can accept that one. Anyway, uh, can we can we say C? Yeah, we can say C. Jax? I actually didn't care about it being C. Your reasoning's just <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was fine with C. Iron Maiden... Iron Maiden gets a C, and... Why are you arguing? Why are you making this longer? You're making this worse on I yourself. No, it's just your reasoning was wrong. I just <laughs> liked it more than some of the other ones. Like, I didn't mind it. My reasoning was great. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jade and Fafari as the witches uh, were missing somebody. I assume that this came out before Act 6. That this was created before Act 6. Okay, but we haven't given the benefit of that doubt to anything else. I yeah. have. I, I brought mean, it up they, multiple they... times. They they sure are witches. D. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, D. That's fine. Witches gets a D. Aradia and Carcat as Ghost Crab. Is Ghost Crab anything? People are going to get so annoyed with the fact that I don't pronounce her name consistently. That's fine. I mean, Ghost Dad is something. I think this would have been funnier if it was uh, uh, Carcat's Lusses. Just Ghost Dad's a thing. Ghost Crab. It's frustrating me that there's not another syllable in here because my brain wants to do a rock lobster thing, but there's not. There's no. <laughs> there's no other syllable for Ghost it. Ghost Crab Dad. Again, shouldn't be Carcat. Should be Carcat's Lusses. It's a D, technically correct. Uh, I will also go with a D, but uh, add on the fact that ghost crabs look really fucking cool. That's fair. They do. Yeah. Ghost crab gets a D. Tavros and Dave as burned disc. Do I like this? I I like the name. I don't know if I like it for them. I don't know who I like it for. I I feel like somebody's trying a little bit too hard. Yeah, yeah. Like it's theoretically because of the sick fires, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the sick it's the sick fires, and they both talk about recording a mix and like yeah and dave's dave's a but it's also because tavros burned dave and dave is the disc right yeah yeah look at look at the shirt yeah yeah i i feel like it's all all the threads connecting this together are like very loose yeah this is like a d but i think it's the d that i like the most if that makes sense uh yeah okay positive (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to make that stamp aren't i yeah yeah sure. you are <laughs> it's literally just rearranging the words like you just you type more letters that's all it I is no but then it's another thing out there it's another in my list of things i have to scroll through to grab do you do you not just copy it and then change the letters no that changes new, all of them do you make a that changes every fucking goddamn letter we no, cannot there's two, there's, be 
We cannot be different... doing editing advice in the middle of <laughs> okay. the podcast, okay. fellas. Okay. You're fine. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Burned disc gets a C or a D ROM. Bad. Bad. Get out of here. <laughs> John and Nepeta as air shipments. I think this should have been air as in H E I R. No, 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 And then also put Equius in here. This is already an F, but if you had if you had made this Air, as in the class, it would have been even more an F. Listen, <laughs> it would have it would have smashed through the floor down to G somehow. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. Why? I I I don't. Yeah, go explain yourself. Air shipment. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it, fuck you! Fuck you! This is what? this is my I'm sorry over again. <laughs> I just think what? it's funny. I, I just like it. I think it's cute. You just like the words in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like my I'm sorry more if we're doing that, but I just think air shipment's funny, and I think it'd be funnier if it was H E I R. And then you can throw Equus in there. Why is it there. funny? I don't know. It just is. Explain it to me because I don't understand. It, there's nothing to explain. It is what it looks like. There's no secret thing that I'm hiding from you. There's no reference that you don't have. I just like it. Jax just likes the funny words in there, man. <laughs> but it's just it's just airship. Yeah. Like that's not even I like it. It's not it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> help. Uh. I like it. I like your funny words, magic man. Sometimes I feel like the heel of my own (laughs) podcast. (laughs) We we do our damnedest to make you. (laughs) Yeah, this is hard. This is hardcore. No, bump it up one letter. What one letter? Because give me one reason why. Because I'm a you can. I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby. (laughs) Gotta bump it up a letter. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to laugh. What, what, what do you actually want this rank to be? Oh, what I want it to be? Yeah, yeah. What do you actually rate this? Uh, A for air, baby. <laughs> no. Maybe okay, a B. Okay. But uh, A for air. Okay. No, 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 no. A for air. I'm going to take that. What? And I raise you. It smashes through the ground twice for both me and Dommy. <laughs> To an H for air. <laughs> ah, I see what you did. <laughs> Hoisted on my own petard. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Uh, look, you know what we think. Jax, you're going to stamp whatever letter you want hey, on this. I, I know stamped it. the real letter <laughs> on that one, too. And then in smaller parentheses below it, I put the correct letter. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just have to acknowledge that you have the power and we can't stop you. I got the power. Move on, please. What did we say for yeah, it? Okay. Are, you, are you sticking with F? Are you not giving no. me a D? <laughs> Give me the D just I'm giving you Jack. <laughs> Kanaya and Aridan as anglerfish. I don't quite get it. Because she glows. Ugh, no. Uh, uh, okay. I guess. F. I'm just trying to turn this into the Magnus archives and it's not working. I also want this to be an F because I I hate that reasoning. Like I already didn't get it. I was gonna give it an F, but I hate that reasoning. I'm fine with that. I don't give a shit. Okay, cool. Anglerfish gets an F. 
I can't do these back to back where I defend something y'all hate. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get, gotta take a break. Jake, Dirk, and Roxy as Irish whiskey. Why is Dirk here? Dirk's also Irish, I, I guess. I mean, Jake's not <laughs> Irish, know. but they re pretend that he's <laughs> British, and that's on the same set of islands. Um, like, because Irish whiskey, it's just like creamy, right? I'm trying to just put Dirk in here, and I don't understand where Dirk is in this. Oh, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know anything about alcohol, like in the slightest. Because I know F that, like an wrong. Irish, I like an Irish coffee is like like an Irish liqueur is like creamy, and you put it in like coffees and stuff. Does is it because whiskey looks orange? Does whiskey look orange? I'm looking at some pictures, and sometimes it looks a little orange. I thought it was like a. I thought it was like a brown. Well, Google Irish whiskey, and you tell me. I can't. I'm ordering Papa John's. Order me some Papa John's, and then look up whiskey. Ugh, don't make I'm me ordering order Papa John's for me. Come over here, and we'll fight about it. Well, <laughs> there's a winter weather warning. So yeah, it's been it's been snowing for like twenty hours straight almost over here. Yeah, and it Christ. all melts the instant it touches the ground. It's still too warm for this. Same. So F, right? Yeah, it's just because it looks kind of orange. I think. Oh, uh, some terrible noises. Excuse me. Um, I'm getting lost on the Wikipedia page. So, yeah, I mean, Jake is an Irish. Dirk shouldn't be here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. It's and this is an F. There's way too much wrong with it. I hate to do this with one of the few poly ships, you know? Yeah. Look, poly ships can have bad names, too. Yeah. Quality. <laughs> do, do you agree do you agree this is just oh yeah my bad i thought we already decided yeah i don't give a shit okay i was ordering food i wasn't listening to anything. i mean i never said f i was just like not arguing i guess it's it's an f next up we have john and roxy as roxygen fucking 10 out of 10 perfect Perfect pun name. I used to not understand this name up until a few months ago, maybe. I I didn't. I didn't understand it and I hated it because I didn't get it. When we start when we started talking about this project? Yeah. Did you just not get the pun? Yeah, I didn't get the pun. Like I knew Did you think it was did you think it was Roxy Jen? Yes. And I get it. Everyone, I like because yeah. I hadn't really heard it before until people started talking about the epilogues. Um, I mean, I heard it before before that. Like, obviously, it's been a shit before that, so I heard it sometimes. But like, I never heard it a lot until the epilogues, right? Um, and I just yeah. kept seeing it, and I'm like, "What does this mean?" So, uh, but now I get it. There, there's a there's a big difference between reading it and like hearing somebody say "roxygen," which is so weird because it's so true. many of these are like. Made by people who only communicate via text. Yeah. But um, if you already know what it, it, it is, then that's fine. Then you get it. But uh, anyway. So I have a hard time rating it too highly just because of this lingering thing. But I'll, I'll default to y'all. Uh, I mean, it's iconic. I've never been the biggest fan of it, but it is iconic. I'm willing to give it a B. But, yeah, I don't have a good reason why I never super vibed with it. I, I, again, I really just like the pun. It's a pretty decent pun. I'll give it that. Yeah. If nothing else. Although, now that I think about it, it doesn't make a whole lot of no. sense. 
because breath is much more carbon dioxide. No, well, he also has to inhale. <laughs> inhale that sweet, sweet rock right. oxygen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did that sell you? Did that sell you on no, what you I were mean, already like, sold I... on? Y- yeah. Look. I again, I I just really like the pun. I this is this is top tier for me. This is a good name. Ugh, could in not my brain. agree less, but fair enough. Valid. Uh, so we're going to be on very opposite ends of the spectrum with this. Jax, what do you rate it? I don't know. To me, it's a C, but that's just because I was dumb for over a decade. So. So, okay. I mean, I said B, right? Like, yeah. I, I, I respect it. I just, I don't personally dig it, right? But I respect its existence. Because I do. And I, I want to put this in oh. S, honestly. Like, like legit. I do. Ugh. Cannot agree with that. <laughs> like, I'll... No, because here's the thing. If I say S, and you say B, then that evens out to an A. But if Jack says C, that brings it down to a B, so you're correct. This is fair. You you won. You got it right. Roxygen gets a B. All right. Sometimes I think me and Dami fight more for our stuff than you do. Gotta gotta find a hill to die on, Justin. Look, this isn't this isn't about finding a hill to die on. This isn't about trying to change your minds. It is about everybody putting their opinion out there and then you take an average. I think we might have had some fundamental in, uh, misunderstandings about what this is about. <laughs> I, okay, like I'm not. I'm not going to tell you what what the name is to you. I'm going to say what it is to yeah. me. To me, Roxygen is an S because I love it. It's fun to say it 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 like evokes it's it's just, it's a it's a it's a really good portmanteau. Like I don't think it's that I good, it. but go off, I guess. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's just funny. Like me and Tommy do Where fight a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's also been uh, two and a quarter hours, and we've gone through approximately oh, no. 40 of these. Well, let's continue. Please. <laughs> okay, it- Gamzy and Aridin as jellyfish. I think this only works within the context of PB&J as a ship. Like, yeah. I just don't think you yeah. naturally jump to... Uh, Gamzy being grape jelly, because grape isn't even in here without um without knowing about PB and J. Yeah, under yeah, the this surface, is, this is PB and J. This is absolutely another one that's just reliant on another yeah. ship to understand, and even when you yeah. do, it's still bad. Also, also, jellyfish aren't fish. I don't care enough about that. F I'm... already doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, it's an F. Jellyfish, jellyfish is an F. Okay, uh, kind of a short one, I say, as it's over two hours long. Uh, but you know, a short one for, for one of these because, fuck dry air. I need to get my humidifier set up. But anyway. Uh, thank you guys for listening and or watching. If you have any opinions about the ship names, uh, put it in the comments. Um, I actually have a pin of that. Put it in the comments um, on my... Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or get in the comments. Not put it in the comments. You know what I mean. Come on, Jax. Get your brand new mulligan. Right. That's right. Um, anyway, point being... <laughs> you of all people should be on top of this. Why me of all people? Okay, that's fine. You're a Brennan. You're you're a Brennan. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm not gonna argue this point. Uh, anyway, I I do have a list of all the ship names uh, that we use in this video, plus some that are just uh, portmanteaus up on LiveStuck.com. 
uh, I need to get the the slash set up so you can just go slash ship names. So maybe by the time this comes out, it'll be homestuck. Uh, homestuck. Yeah, homestuck.com. Uh, livelaughstuck.com slash ship names. Hopefully, if not, just go to livelaughstuck.com and click on a tap, you lazy ass. Um, it's, it's literally a link up there. You just <laughs> click on it. It's just one more click, I promise. Um, and I might start adding more because I found some that I like that uh, we just didn't find before this. Uh, and we're not adding any more to this. So, sorry. Anyway. Did you just say I said we we're might not. Add more I said we're not. Say we're we're not, not adding any more. No, we are not adding oh, more. Okay. We are not adding more to this. <laughs> uh I, I'm not saying there might not be a DLC pack in the far future. Um at my 10 year anniversary. But <laughs> don't do these things. <laughs> you know what else is on my website? Links to my newsletter, which is the second place. The second place. The second best place to figure out what's going on with me. I only publish it once a month. So, um, you don't gotta get sworn with a bunch of emails. The first best place is in my Discord, which is linked e e everywhere in the show notes on the website. Because the website also has my show notes. Um, that's also where the newsletter is. But the, the website has, like, a specific tab for my newsletter. Uh, and uh, it... The, the show notes also have links to stuff that Justin and Dami are doing. So that's exciting. Anyway, I, I will I will see you in the next the next one of these. I mean, I'll see you in an episode that's not one of these. Uh, but but they'll probably not see you until the next one of these. I don't know. Goodbye. Thank you to Dami for composing the theme song and editing the episode. You can find more of her work at soundcloud.com slash domino thief. Shout out to our fakest fan tier supporters, Danny the Spoon Lord and Tezrak. You can become a supporter and receive early episodes and bonus content for as little as $1 a month over at ko-fi.com slash jacksyaks or simply give a one-time tip. For information on and links to my other projects, head over to jacksyaks.com. Thanks again for listening. 